Hey guys, this is Sunspan with an introduction to Lethal, our newest hero implemented into the Community Hero and Item Project. If you're interested in trying this mod out, simply search for Chip in the Dota 2 Arcade. You can also join our Discord community at discord.gg sunspan. Credits for this hero are listed on the screen. Lethal is the winner of our community contest a few months back. He has changed slightly from what you remember, but the core concept is intact. He's an intelligence hero that can deal massive amounts of damage while being very tough to control. Divine Intervention is a single target channeling ability. When channeled on an enemy and after being initially mini-stunned, the target's armor and movement speed will be reduced. Their movement speed is reduced by 25% per second and armor by 1.75 per second. This ability can be channeled for a total of 10 seconds. To stop this skill from affecting them, an enemy needs to either stun or silence the channeler or simply run 900 units away as that is the breaking point. Mystic Twister is a point target channeling ability. When channeled, Lethal will deal 150 physical damage per second in a 300 radius. This can be channeled for up to 10 seconds and has a one second cooldown. Please note that this ability will grant true sight to the area in question and will also only deal half damage to creeps. Conviction is a single target channeling skill. While this is channeled on an allied hero or yourself, it will grant 70% status resistance and 50 HP regeneration. As you've probably guessed, the max channeling time is 10 seconds and similar to his first skill will break after 900 units. Okay, are you still with me? Because this is where the hero really starts to make sense. His ultimate is named Superposition and it's a point target ability. A unique mechanic with this ultimate is that you can put points into it levels 3, 10, and 17. With this ability, you will instantly teleport yourself to a location up to 600 units away while leaving an illusion behind of yourself. If you are channeling an ability when you use this skill, the illusion will continue to channel that ability for you. A level 3 superposition will grant you 3 charges to this skill. The illusions last for 10 seconds, and you can still control them like any other illusion meaning you can cancel their channeling and have them join forces with you for that duration. In terms of the right click, they will deal 50% damage while taking 200% in turn. A charge is refilled every 15 seconds. Agnum Scepter can be purchased by Lethal and will grant him with one extra max charge to superposition. Okay, now let's go over his talents and then we can wrap up with some basic gameplay tips. For talents at level 10, there's a choice between 25% XP gain or 200 HP. At level 15, it's plus 30 Mystic Twister DPS or plus 100 Mystic Twister Radius. At level 20, it's minus 100% superposition illusion damage taken. This ends up meaning that it will take the same amount of damage as your regular hero. Or superposition grants a two second invisibility. And at level 25, it's a choice between 250 cast range or plus one superposition charge. So with Aghanims, you can technically have up to five charges of this ultimate. Okay, now for general gameplay. Here are your basic combos, my friends. Everything is pretty much reliant on your ultimate. Typically, you'd start with the Q, Divine Intervention, which will mini-stun and slow your target. You follow that up with the old R button, AKA Superposition, and then cast Mystic Twister. Now, because this ability only has a one second cooldown, you can just keep popping that ult and creating more and more Mystic Twisters, which do stack, by the way. This deals an incredible amount of damage, but of course, relying solely on your first ability to slow the target will be difficult, so some coordination with the team will be necessary. His E, Conviction, can obviously be used as a support tool for your hard carry who jumps into the fight, but if you want to get greedy, just use it on yourself while popping up all over the place with Superposition. Also remember that you can control your illusions. So if they're channeling a mystic twister on absolutely nothing, just highlight them and have them push the lanes or hit some heroes. Of course, they only last a total of 10 seconds, but they can still deal a decent amount of damage regardless. If I had to note anything else, I would say to definitely use your mystic twister to push lanes and get easy gold. Sure, it only does half damage to creeps, but that should definitely be good enough for those purposes. Also keep in mind that you are able to dodge projectiles with the instant teleport of superposition. Overall, I don't really know the position of this hero. At first glance, I'd say mid, as I don't really see him being that great as a support since his disables are a bit on the weak side. From the whole game standpoint though, he can push lanes very easily, and if you have quick fingers, can be very difficult to lock down. 
The reason I like this hero is because while there's definitely a high ceiling for him with really talented players, I think the floor is also high because micro on him isn't really required. It's more of an icing on the cake kind of deal. We're really interested to see how this works in the hands of you, the community. So have at it friends and let us know what you think by joining our Discord community. Also, if you're an artist and have any assets you'd like us to use, or if you'd just like to help out, email us at community at dotacinema.com. Things that we would absolutely love some extra help on would be animation and modeling. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for a lot more content around this mod coming soon.